Ever wondered why your trusted boiler suddenly displays an F1 fault, leaving you out in the cold? Well today we delve into the intricate world of boiler repair, specifically focusing on the notorious F1 fault code. The F1 fault code is a common issue with many boilers, often leaving homeowners puzzled and frustrated. But fear not, with a bit of knowledge and a dash of patience, it's a problem that can be resolved without much hassle. The F1 code is typically indicative of low water pressure. Now the question is how do you fix it? Well it's not as complicated as it may seem. Firstly, you need to identify the pressure gauge on your boiler. This small, usually circular device will show you the current pressure of your system. If it's below one bar, that's a clear sign of low pressure and the likely cause of your F1 fault. Secondly, you must locate the filling loop. This is a flexible or rigid silver tube with two taps on either end. It's designed to allow water into the boiler system to increase the pressure. The next step is to slowly open both taps on the filling loop. You will hear water rushing into the system and you'll see the pressure gauge start to rise. Once the pressure reaches just above one bar, close both taps. Now it's time to reset your boiler. Most boilers have a reset button which you'll need to press and hold for approximately 10 seconds. Then, release the button and wait for the boiler to fire back up. If all goes well, your boiler should now be running smoothly without an F1 fault in sight. If the F1 fault persists, it's time to call in a professional. There could be another underlying issue that needs a more advanced fix. In summary, the F1 fault code is a common issue related to low water pressure in your boiler system. The steps to rectify this are fairly straightforward. Identify the pressure gauge, locate the filling loop, slowly open the taps, watch the pressure rise, close the taps, and finally, reset the boiler. Remember, dealing with boiler issues does not have to be a daunting task. With a bit of knowledge and a dash of patience, you can resolve many of these problems yourself. However, if the problem persists, it's always best to call in a professional. So the next time your boiler throws an F1 fault code at you, don't panic. Instead, remember these simple steps, and you'll have your boiler running smoothly in no time. Until next time, stay warm and keep learning.